Now, in this section of the session, I would like to share with you some aspects of site selection process. Basically, there are three um, subjects, areas that we need to address. It's the physical location and the wide variety of parameters that we need to address under the physical location before we select a site. There are biological environment parameters that we need to consider before we select a site. And there are human environmental uh, aspects that we need to consider, take into consideration when we select a site. Physical location. Physical location means that we need to measure and analyze mean wind speed over time, the depth of the water, the character of the seabed. Please remember these huge towers and turbines need a hard and stable seabed. We cannot place any turbine in any seabed. We need to have a proper infrastructure, seabed infrastructure, which is a very, very important physical parameter before we, before we select a site. Coastal processes. We would like to locate a site close to the coast where, number one, the demand is, number two, where the coast has internal infrastructure and facilities to receive and transmit the power that comes from the uh, turbines, from the farms. The picture on the right represents a very interesting situation on the eastern coast of the United States. We see a major line running and connecting several wind farms. In this case, there are five wind farms. Each wind farm is located in front of a demand center. So the transmission line between the wind farm and the center of demand is relatively very short, several kilometers, 10, 15, 20 kilometers. And there's a common bus that connects all the farms together. So it's a redundant system. If one farm is down, the demand center received, receives the energy from a backup farm, which is connected on the bus. So physical location set of parameters, every one of them needed to be taken into consideration when we do site selection. And then biolog biological environment set of parameters. There are protected areas where we cannot place a site. Benthic, marine life, and birds. Birds, not only that might be killed because they, they get hit by the blade, but hitting the blade gives a sudden shock which might destroy the turbine itself. And there is a set of parameters related to human environment that we need to take into consideration when we do site selection. Utility infrastructure, what happened in the onshore, what happened in the coastline. Economic development opportunities. If we want to promote an area from an economical point of view, and there's a center of demand. It's an important parameter when we do site selection. Tourism and leisure. Archaeology. We will not locate um, a wind farm offshore. So the onshore collection pit will be in an archaeological area. Navigation of ships. We will place 
we will select a site where to put a farm where ships do not move. Fishery, of course. Port facility. To install and to maintain a farm meaning, means that there's a traffic of ships going back and forth. So we need a port facility nearby. Otherwise, cost of maintenance and cost of installation will go tremendously high. Obviously, civil and military aviation and radar facilities. They are all human environmental aspects that we need to take into consideration when we do site selection.